Run. You know, he does everything. He can ride the technical, but boy, can Minar pedal. No, he's just, you know, he's just bigger. Danny's quite quite a diminutive quite character. A little, and little guy, isn't he? Yeah, that's right. They just don't have the power of these older big guys. You can see he's absolutely made up with that. Here so, we go. We've got G Aston on track. Reigning series champion. What is he going to pull out? I know he's going to be so hungry for this. He likes to win here more than any other track in front of the home crowd. Absolutely. And he won here last year. That was his first win on this thing. So the split is actually up. He is up he's at up. split one. So with a, yep, he is we actually can up. Confirm. I can't confirm how much he's up, but G is definitely the quickest at split one. Threading that common cell down through this upper rock section. And he is holding it together where Danny had the speed. G's got the same speed, but just keeping it consistent and tidy through this top section. Couple of pedal strokes there. Look at these little pedal strokes out of these turns. They definitely make you carry a little bit more speed along them turns. And we know he's got the fitness to carry it as well. Third at Peter Maritzburg. This is a proper workman like right. Oh, I slid out a little bit. He would have lost a small amount of time there, momentum. But you know, G knows exactly what he needs to do here and he's pulling it out of the bag. And he's so he's uh, saying he's up and at split two on our timing screen and says he's in third place. But you could be sore from his from his fitness at Peter Maritzburg if anyone's going to pull it back on this bottom bit. Look at the power he's got going down here. Can he unbelievable. Match, can he match Minara on this pedaling section? I wouldn't say there's that much between them. Been training is, in California and New Zealand. No winner and it's paying off for him. The Vulcan is, swoops. What's the time going to tell us? Is he, he's, outside he's outside it. Outside. He's outside it. So fourth for G. Athern. He will be bitterly disappointed with that. And confirmation that the times on the screen are definitely wrong. We're going to stick with the live timing now for the last rider. Because Aaron Quinn now, the last man then, that can take the win away. From Greg G Minard. is going to be devastated with that. Last year, you think him and Greg just didn't finish outside the top three all year. No, they and lifted already. each other's games, but Minar, well, what can you say? He just seems to get better with age. So we got Minar in the hot seat, 443 is the time to be Danny Hart from the UK in second, Brooke McDonald third, G there in fourth, Cam Cole fifth, here Blanky in sixth, and here he is, Aaron Gwynn. Big man on track, Aaron is a danger man this year for sure, and he is going to be determined to have this, isn't he? Well, Quinn. Going from strength to strength, training with a Tomax. He's not up at split one, he's actually third at split one there with a 101.157. So uh, Aaron Gwynn, if, if the other if the green graphics were right, everyone's gone quicker than everyone. <laughs> but he is looking quick to this, look at the speed he's carrying through there. Oh my oh, God. Two wheel drifting her in there. This is what happens though, you know, he won Peter Maritzburg, he's won some nationals, I think, in America since, and he is on the crest of a wave, and he just it seems it's unstoppable. Just at the peak of his form at the moment, isn't it? Nearly oh, two, bit messy from him, nearly two seconds up in qualifying on anyone, and he wasn't happy with his run, so split two is going to tell us. Gwyn looking unstoppable, he looks fast to me. He is pushing this, oh, and he's five seconds up, is he? Well, if hard to, to tell it. that. He's definitely, that, he's definitely fast. He's definitely fastest at split two. I'm sorry, but our and he's faith... not going to be losing any time on this bottom bit at all, is he? Our faith has gone in the on-screen timing, no. So Quinn, where is he? Where, where is, is he? he? Here he Here comes. He Aaron Here we Quinn. Go. Then. We can hear the crowd building at the bottom for him. The Trek World Racing Road. The first American to win a World Cup since Palmer did in '99. Will he make it two on the trot? Here in far William. He's coming down now. He looks fast down to the line. What's the time? Is it, he's, he's, out, he's outside it. Outside it. He's outside Greg's it. Greg Minard. Greg Minard, Greg Minard, Minard takes the win here. And Aaron Gwynn, well, he was slow coming onto that last camera. Obviously had a problem or something. And Greg Minard takes the win here in Fort William this afternoon. Santa Cruz Syndicate riding there. Greg Minard loving that. That's, is that his third win here, is it? Something like that. Or I mean, we it's his fourth win here, Cunny. His fourth win here in, in, uh, in Fort William. I think the big story, though, is Danny Hart and Brooke McDonald. Them two, you know, that's absolutely unbelievable ride from them two young guys. We thought, you know, last year we're used to Greg Minard and G battling it out. We've just seen now we've got two new guns back up there. Like, Yeah, it's great. Like you say, you've this got... This is going to be a big battle. We thought after round one we're going to have Aaron.